my brothers, my sisters, time don't reach for us to pack how I come up for studio. But before then, it gets uh, when I remember the Nigeria Institute of Public Relations, NIPR, where I be, I be member, not just a member, a fellow. Uh, it get one of my members waiting for studio here. Make when I give him the second microphone, make we hear, waiting in get to talk. Yes, introduce yourself, sir, quickly. Mm. Lembe. Oh, lo, lo, lo. My name be Ike. Sit down, sir. My mm. name be Ike Neliako. Mm. I be servant of Nigeria. Mm. Make I talk more? Yes, quickly. Okay. okay. I be member of uh, Nigerian Institute of Public Relations, and we try to support what ordinary Ahmed, ordinary president, is doing. In 2016 when we identified him as a model because of the quality of work when they do. And we said we must honor this man, we must recognize him. And we want to thank you again and again for the great work. But I don't listen to waiting my brother talk. I've been there government before. Mm. At a young age, I had the opportunity to serve uh, one of the leaders. I started as a personal assistant. I was watching them. When that minister finished, another minister came, retained me, and promoted me as a special assistant. I can't serve that one. Ain't can't do your own, come out. Another one come. I did they do this thing you know, until I walk up from uh, 19... Uh, 1993 mm. reach 2015 when I was senior special assistant to president. Which president? Good luck, Jonathan. Okay. And then I left government. This period where I serve, I can't discover the kind thing where they happen for government. Hmm. Some of these things in the already talk, hmm. but I decided to document it. So I started working in 2010 hmm. to gather facts, to research, mm -hmm. to identify the things where they make person. We go tell you, say, in one do this, in one do that. When you enter that place, you don't go fit do anything. Hey. And I categorize them into seven. Mm -hmm. And I call them seven conspiracies of power. Seven conspiracies of, of power. power yes. Namely, number one, conspiracy of the elite. These people go tell you, I go do this, I go do that. Not be true. Against the masses. Yes. They go there, go lay ambush for the masses. And when they come down, they cut the legs of the masses. Mm. And they come back again, mm. and they continue to do it. So mm. the elites are the ones conspiring against the masses. Number two. Number two, conspiracy of AIDS. Special assistant to, personal assistant to, Special advisor, so now then go tell you say everything where you they do fantastic. Mm -hmm. Meanwhile, they get their own interest. Agenda. You know why? Mm -mm. As then they appoint them, not be only the leader, they appoint his aid. Some group go come tell them say now this person go represent us, appoint them, appoint a special assistant. Another one go come talk. So at the end of the day, you have aids. When they think like this, they think like this, they think like this. So total, when the leader is, strangers to you. When the leader is thinking up, they are thinking down, mm. looking for how to conspire against the leader. Mm. Number three, mm. conspiracy of religion. Mm. We're always thinking this person is this, that person is this, this person is this. At the end of the day, they are not able to do what they are supposed to do. Number four, mm. conspiracy of ego. Mm. Do you know who I am? And most times, this ego gets into our head, our offices, and the things we are supposed to do, we are not able to do it. Hmm. Number five, conspiracy of the environment. Person will grow up inside Potopoto. Now hmm. Potopoto in Sabi. Hmm. If you never nurture them, nurture them, make it Sabi something else. Ego, 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 behave like the thing. So if they are not educated, mm. they go carry their mindset. Mm. Can't tell you something else. Mm. And even inside that conspiracy of ego, where I talked before, mm. 
You know they are resisting where we don't bring for Nigeria. We they call them Baba. Mm. Once you are governor or your president, they change your name to Baba. Mm. And you know for Africa, Baba no they lie. Mm. Baba no they day wrong. Mm. So when you begin to call your leader Baba, mm. it means say anything we ain't tell you. Not correct. Not correct. So Baba many times they carry us go into Babalion. They no no say some Baba na Baba riga. The other one, mm. <laughs> the other one, conspiracy of foreign relations. People get they, go to their own country. They tell you, say, this is how you have to do things. And mm. your leaders don't know what is going mm. on. And because they don't know, they will manipulate you, manipulate you, manipulate you, put things that you are not supposed to do. Mm. And you come and use it to punish your people without knowing it. You know the last one, mm -mm. which is very dangerous? Mm. Conspiracy of the clan. Of the clan? Yes. Some call it uh, conspiracy of ethnicity. But when we do our research, we can't discover, say, this one past ethnicity. Because my wife, mm. she loves me, but the day where you become president or governor or minister, you begin the writing own list. Mm. Your children, mm. the same thing. Mm. Your relations, the same thing. Your friends, mm. the same thing. They will descend on you mm. and they will be conspiring against you. It is not your interest that mm. they are pursuing. Mm. It is their personal interest. Mm. These are the seven things that have <laughs> destroyed leadership in Nigeria mm. up to where we are today. Mm. So we have documented it. It is 668 pages mm. of thorough research that took us 10 years to do. Mm. And I felt that this is one family that I must come to present a copy to our president mm. so that you will know that you are one of those who are championing the cause of reforming Nigeria through the mindset. <laughs> if our minds are not reformed, we are in big trouble. So this is what I want to present Thank you. to you for the family. Thank you. Thank you. Now we appreciate them now. Is it easy? <laughs> now, uh, give her give a microphone. Give her give a microphone. Uh, sir? I'll be part of this presentation and I will, be, I will make comment after the presentation. Oh, okay. Thank you, sir. Uh, somebody uh, talks, say, um, uh, at Anina Basi. He said, my idea, ordinary president, I wish we can have Peter Obi, Morgalu, Zulum, and Vice President Oshibanjo working as a group. This group can put, if this group can put their heads together, that things can change in this country. That is dropping this ego. You know, one of the conspiracies is ego. Imakwa. Imakwa nyembo. Yeah, yeah. And then we have another empty ego, institutional ego. Uh, this is not the way we have been doing it. This is, no, he is dismissed. He must remain dismissed. Whether the person that dismissed the person was wrong or not, this institutional ego will not allow them to go back and revisit what has been done by one wrong human being that maybe has mental problems. Yes, if you are ready for the presentation. Yes. Did you just support me come up from this corner? Go there, say nay. Hey. <laughs> Those again, center. Hamba, lamba. Hamba, lamba. Make mommy join us. <laughs> Thank you. Yes. Thank you Somebody much. should hold the mic for me, please. Please. Now beg, I beg. Mm. Mm -hmm. Hold for him first. So I wrote something here which is from my heart. Okay. And I said to Dr. Ahmed Issa, mm. to my friend and compatriot, mm. a patriot in nation building, social justice, and human development. May Almighty God continue to honor and reward your effort and commitment to serving humanity. You are a great man.
But am I really great? I'm asking, am I really great? I am only working towards greatness in life. I am not yet great. As far as my world is concerned, I am working towards greatness in life by the grace of God. Thank you. Okay. Sir. Let, let me respond. That is the benchmark you have given yourself. You have no right to determine how people will judge you. Sorry. Is it correct? Yes. yes. Correct, correct. Thank you. Uh, as constant as the Northern Star. This one is for you to be drinking tea and coffee when no. you need it. Akamu. <laughs> okay. Thank you very much. So, uh, give him the mic. Uh, okay, hold the mic for him while he. Now, here. Uh, sir, this book, The Seven Conspiracies of uh, power. power, as you did talk him, uh, His Excellency Peter will be just a shaking head. It'd be like, say, you did commodity the thing for your mind. And this book, can actually open the minds and hearts as well as the brains of Nigerians and every human being on this earth. Because what is applicable to Nigeria is applicable to any other country when it comes to leadership. Not just leadership, effective leadership. Thank you very much. Uh, Mr. I, with this uh, uh, presentation, I want to make I dedicate this book to someone very special to me. And that person is you. Thank you. Thank you. And this one, I want to dedicate it to the woman that has tolerated me. The woman who is amongst the few people that can tolerate my lack of giving her attention as my wife. I dedicate this to my wife, please. Thank you. Day before yesterday, I think I left here around, around, was it? Was it 12.01? Yesterday, I left here around, sometimes I stay here till 2 a.m. <laughs> uh, you say? I see your brain say they sleep here. <laughs> <laughs> okay, thank you very much, everybody. Let's hear from uh, Mr. Peter Obi. You know, when he said the, the, the worst one, did you listen to when uh, Ike was saying this? There's one he said is the worst one. Number seven, the conspiracy of the clan. He said, when you get there, then your wife, your family, mm. your children, your friends. What did I say? Mm. That you can stop corruption if you mm. are not stealing, your wife is not, your children are not, those around you. This is because they are the ones who come with that, this, this type of list he's talking about. He called it list. But that's sharing mentality. So your wife makes sure that every day, that's why when I got there, the first thing I said to people is, listen, the only person who can pass the vote is Peter Obi. So no office of first lady. You are my wife. I love you. Stay in my house. Nobody anywhere in Anambra State will tell you, I was born in a family of 10. But no Obi had appointment, had any contract, had anything to do with government. If you know what you're doing, face it. The only person who can vote for vote was Peter Obi, and Peter Obi is the only person who will be responsible for this. Nobody should come near. So no relation. If you want to serve, we voted for only one person, not husband and wife, not husband, not you and your children. I have two kids that graduates that are working. One of them is just an ordinary secondary school teacher, and he goes to school every day. That's what it should be. I'm not saying it's ordinary, it's celebrated. That's what she does. And she's happy with it. She goes there, she teaches the young girls, like every other teacher in Nigeria. And she's very, very happy with it. So oh. what we need to do is to get people to do a good work. I have a son, he's 28. He doesn't have a car because he has to buy his own car. He's not my car. I, well, he's the son of a governor, not the governor. I'm the governor. 
People have to, we have to make this country work for everybody. And it can work. Thank you. For me to say anything now, not to spoil the program. Una waiting.